The Catcher in the Rye Summary, The Catcher in the Rye novel was written by J.D. Salinger and was published in 1951. The novel is a coming-age fiction, the book is narrated by a different person, Holden Caulfield, who got expelled from prep school. Salinger is an American who began writing stories while serving in the army during World War II. The Catcher in the Rye is his first published novel, a cultural phenomenon, and modern American literature, this author is known for other works such as Franny and Zoe, Nine Stories, Raise High the Roof Beam, Carpenter, and Seymour. Keep reading this summary to gather more details on the book in case you need a different novel summary, place an order for our academic writing services. The Catcher in the Rye Overview This novel was written by J.D. Salinger and published in 1951. The story has a narrator, Holden Caulfield. He is a teenage boy expelled from prep school, and wanders in New York City before he gets home, Holden struggles with loneliness, fear of loving, identity crisis, and fakeness in the adult world. He relates with various people in school and New York City, and his perception of phoniness gets complex. Finally, the narrator gets mentally ill and is admitted to the hospital. As he meditates, he gets hopeful that his life will change and all the struggles will end. Summary of the Catcher in the Rye Chapters the Catcher in the Rye Chapters Summary 1-10, to the story opens up with the narrator Holden taking us through his life. He opens up about his bad childhood and how his parents were always busy for him. He longed for that love and attention, especially after his brother passed on due to leukemia, the struggles he went through made him become a troubled teenager. He gets expelled from Pensy School adding to the list as the fourth one. He goes to the dorm and enjoys his solitude, and the boys are in the field playing football. He has until Wednesday to leave the institution. He decides to hang around the institution and have some time to say goodbye to his friends. That's our Catcher in the Rye Summary Chapters 1-10. to If you want combined or separate Catcher in the Rye Chapter Summaries, place an order for our services. Apart from this novel we also provide an American Revolution Summary, the Catcher in the Rye Chapters 11-20 to Summary, Holden struggles with loneliness and alienation. He learns that his roommate Stradlater is dating Jane, a girl he treasures so much. They were neighbors and spent summertime together and formed a close friendship, he decides to visit the town with his friend to watch a movie to fight his disappointments. He also invites Ackley and Mal along. On arriving, Ackley and Mal realize they have watched the movie and so they eat hamburgers. Play pinball and return to Pensy. Holden has to write an essay for Strad later, and he doesn't have content. He decides to write about his brother's alley baseball mitt. Strad later returns and fails to offer any information about his date to Holden. He also complains about the essay's subject and he tears it. The two boys get annoyed and start throwing punches at each other. The catcher in the rye summary of chapters 20 to 26, the events of these chapters still occur in New York. Holden meets yet another old friend, Sally Hayes, and he suggests they elope together and start a new life. However, they argue due to his different perception, and Sally rejects his proposal. Holden gets even more stressed, and this affects his mental health. He strolls around New York City and meditates about his life and future. He feels relieved when he visits symbolic places such as the Museum of Natural History and Central Park. Holden's mental state worsens, and he becomes paranoid and hallucinatory. He imagines he has a gunshot wound and envisions being the catcher in the rye. He finally breaks down from all this stress and gets admitted to a mental hospital. Finally, the story ends with Holden reflecting on his life experiences and hopes to recover from all this mess. If you aspire to learn psychology and help people with mental health issues like Holden, we can help you. Hire our psychology essay writing service and learn the techniques from our experts. Characters in The Catcher in the Rye, Holden Caulfield, he is the narrator and protagonist in the story. He is from a wealthy New York family that affords to take him from one school to another after expulsions. He has several mischievous traits and a disturbing adolescent stage. Again, he seems affected by his brother's death, Ali. His life is in a crisis, he is always unhappy and fails to understand the world around him, Phoebe Caulfield, she is a mature, intelligent nine-year-old Holden's younger sister. She understands her brother's challenges and unhappiness. 
Holden treats her with more respect and cares about her. Unlike her parents, Phoebe is concerned about his brother and is always there for him. Through her sacrifice to see Holden become a better person, he succumbs to his reality to save her from the agony, Mr. Antolini, he is former Holden's English teacher at Elkton Hills. Currently, he teaches at NYU. He offers Holden a place to stay after he runs away from his home. Antolini tells Holden he is headed in the wrong direction and will suffer for an unworthy cause, Ward Strandler, he is Holden's roommate at Pensy Prep. He is self-centered and arrogant. He asks Holden to write an English essay and gets angry after finding it off-topic. They get into a fight after Holden notices he seduced Jane, who is his girlfriend, Carl Luce, Holden sees him as the most intelligent person. He was a student at Hutton and later joined Columbia. He meets with Holden at a bar and challenges him for his immature behavior and advises him to seek psychiatric help, Ali Caulfield, he is Holden's younger brother who dies of leukemia. Holden always remembers him, especially for his baseball mitt. Holden adores Ali but after his death, he lost the ability to love without fear. He can't picture loving someone who might later disappear. Robert Ackley, a boring student at Pensy School, and his dormitory rooms connect with Holden's. He is socially disconnected and has a poor complexion. Holden suspects that don't brush his teeth, D. B. Caulfield, he is Holden's older brother and a war veteran. Currently, he is a screenwriter in Hollywood. Plot of The Catcher in the Rye The Catcher in the Rye plot highlights the major events that occur in the text or revolve around the main character. This story starts when Holden describes his experience at Pensy Prep. He has been expelled after failing most classes, his roommate holds him hostage to write an essay so that he can go on a date. Holden writes an essay about his brother Ali's baseball glove. Stradlater doesn't like the essay and the two fight, Holden leaves campus, goes to New York City, and rents a cheap hotel. He arranges with the elevator men to have a prostitute Sunny. After she arrives, he gets uncomfortable and says he just wants to talk to her. Sunny and her pimp demand more money and punches Holden in his stomach. The following day he gets drunk and sneaks to their home. He meets his sister Phoebe at home and fantasizes about being the catcher. When his parents get home, Holden disappears to his teacher's home, Mr. Antolini. Every narrative contains a plot, characters, setting, theme, and style. We have just discussed the plot of this story, with the starting of events, climax, and falling action. For more details on narratives, seek our narrative essay writing help, The Catcher in the Rye setting, the narrative, The Catcher in the Rye, takes place around the 1950s. It has several main locations for the events, Pensy Preparatory Academy, a boys' boarding school, the second setting is New York, where Holden disappears after his expulsion from school before he gets home. He encounters several people here who bring him to realization. Most events take place in the hotel, bar, and park. Themes of the Catcher in the Rye, the following are the Catcher in the Rye themes that we have identified, 1. Catcher in the Rye, it's the book's title and contains a deeper meaning. The narrator, Holden, is asked what he wants to do with his life by his sister and answers through his image from the poem. He is passionate about helping kids from falling off the cliff by catching them. He wants to save the children before they fall out of innocence and access the adult knowledge of sex. He is fixated on a misquote of Robert's poem, Coming Through the Rye, which presents a painful loss of innocence. He holds this line dearly and pictures himself as the savior. He is the guardian angel of children's purity, premature death and all social evils. But it's ironic he can't save his situation, his brother's death, and his corrupted teenage, Holden narrates his story as a bad boy who can do anything to fill the gap in his heart. He smokes and drinks alcohol but has still preserved his dignity. Even with all the opportunities he has in the club he always finds a way to escape the compromising situation, he stands to be a better person who can save kids since he has experienced this tough life. Holden knows that he can bring change in the world around him, and he is an important person. He is ready to protect the kids' innocence from all the stresses of life, too. Alienation, Holden is alienated throughout the story. His mischievous behaviors are due to the lack of human connection. 
He alienates himself to avoid mockery and rejection from his friends, and he suffers from loneliness, and this pushes him to find a connection. 3. Death The narrator keeps the theme of death alive in the story. Death has brought a lot of pain and change in his life. He wishes things could return to normal and have better times, like when Ali was alive. Through his brother's death, he fears loving people and has never been happy. Literary devices of the catcher in the rye Some of the catcher in the rye literary devices applied are, foreshadowing, he keeps remembering past events. For instance, as the novel opens, he remembers how his brother got hospitalized and living with him in Los Angeles, imagery the author uses it to help readers perceive things with their five senses, irony, the most significant irony in the novel is Holden's attitude. The character perceives himself as the most normal person or ideal student in school, but it's the opposite. He also makes comments that his thinking is the craziest, style of the catcher in the rye, this novel is written in a first-person narrative style with Holden as the narrator. The book's content is conversational, and the narrator speaks directly to the reader. The author uses slang to match a teenage boy's voice and filler words in the narrator's conversations, the narrator of the novel, Holden, is also the main character. He narrates his experiences through life, expulsion from school, and his frustrations relating to people. The events run from his youthhood to the adult life that looks fake or phony to him, the catcher in the rye genre, the novel belongs to coming-of-age stories or Bildungsroman. It's a type of novel or film that presents the life of a protagonist from childhood to adulthood. This type of story focuses on internal monologue over actions. The narratives mostly picture the past events in the life of teenagers, the catcher in the rye novel belongs to a specific subgenre, Bildungsroman. Holden's encounters with different people like his former teacher, sex worker, and sister help him realize life. His perception of adult life is challenged, and he goes through character development. Ultimately, he is admitted to a mental hospital to face reality in life. In summary, the catcher in the rye narrative explores adolescence, mental illness, and the struggles of a teenager growing up in a mixed society. The main character Holden represents the life of a young person struggling with identity, loneliness, disillusionment, and the transition in life challenges, the story teaches society to care about young people and help them in their identity crisis. Again, teaches parents to play their parenting roles diligently to help their children.